All right, second graders, welcome to week six. We're studying graphing, and our first topic is picture graphs, as you can see up on my screen. In order to study picture graphs, we need a couple of vocabulary words um, to understand the information that we're looking at. The first word is categories. That is groups based on similar characteristics. So you can group into different, into similar groups um, based on things that are the same about a particular subject. So for example, if I wanted to group friends who had blue eyes versus green eyes versus hazel eyes versus brown eyes, I'd have four categories, right? If I wanted to group animals like this um, classification chart, I see there that they group by birds, by fish, by mammals, and by reptiles. So the different type of of animal that you might see at the zoo. So that is our categories. Those are our categories. The second piece of information is data or data, however you wanna say it. Data is information that is collected. So whoever made this table went to Central Park Zoo and saw six birds, five fish, 11 mammals, and three reptiles. That is their data. The Organizer for all of that is called a table, not the table you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner at, but a table that houses information. So categories, data, and table. If you have your DCPS packet, we're going to jump into the new learning section together. So for our new learning, what you're going to see on the left is the table, and on the right is the picture graph. What I want you to take notice of is this here at the bottom, the legend. Each circle stands for one animal. The legend tells us what is being represented in the picture graph. So in this case, we're taking the data and categories found in the table on our left and putting them into a picture graph on our right. So. Let's look at our categories one more time. Birds, fish, mammals, reptiles. You can see translates right down here on the picture graph to birds, fish, mammals, and reptiles. So those are pretty much same, same, in the same order to keep it very consistent. The next thing you'll notice is that they transferred the data, the numbers, six, five, 11, and three, into these vertical columns. So if you remember back from the arrays unit, columns go up and down. When building a graph, you start at the bottom with your data. So you'll see six, five, 11, and three. Six birds, the birds column starts at the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fish starts at the bottom. We see it has five. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. I've now labeled the top of each column with the number from the table. So that means that there should certainly be six circles in the birds, five in the fish, 11 in mammals, and three in reptiles. The last thing I want you to take note of is that the titles are absolutely the same. So whatever the title is from your table, Central Park Zoo Animal Classification, it stays the same in your picture graph, Central Park Zoo Animal Classification. So they made that nice and easy and already translated it up there, uh, transferred it up there for you. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna move on and try it ourselves. So it is pretty fun to make graphs, so I hope you enjoy doing this together. This table has our favorite, well not our favorite, but the packet's favorite mammals. You'll notice that favorite mammals is in the table, and again, it is the same title as the picture graph. Down here, the legend is already done for us. Each circle stands for one mammal. So we, this time, are going to be drawing the circles ourselves. Pretty neat. Let's start on the left. We see tiger first, and tiger is written as the first category here. Right, and we wanna keep our categories consistent. Tiger starts here, tiger starts here as well. All right. With our data, we're going to start at the bottom, like I just mentioned. Eight circles for tiger, here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight favorite mammals being a tiger. Then we'll move on to panda, as you can see in the left, 11. So what do you think? 
is going to match in our column over panda. If you said 11, you're on it. Here we go. 11. Make sure that your circles are perfectly in those squares. Mine were a little bit hard to, to draw on the computer. If you hear some craziness right now, it's because my two dogs are running around chasing each other, so I do apologize. Back to the pandas. We have 11. Moving on to snow leopard and then to gorilla. I'm gonna speed ahead while you guys get a chance to draw that. If you need to pause me, go ahead and do that while you catch up. So seven for snow leopard. Again, make sure your circles are right in the box. You can see how mine, it was a little bit tricky to get this right in the box. You want it right in the box rather than above the line. I know you guys can do that much better by hand. And lastly, Gorilla has 12. So our table now matches our picture graph. Pretty awesome. The next part is answering questions based on the graph. So, how many more people chose gorilla as their favorite mammal than chose tiger? They help us out right here by showing us we need to subtract the number of gorilla minus the number that chose tiger. So, if we look over, the number for gorilla is 12. That will go in our first box. Minus the people who chose tiger, that number is 8. We should see that in our second box. And then you guys take that time to do the math. If you know your fast facts, you might know in a snap 12 minus 8. If not, you can see the difference in the graph. So 8 comes up to here. And then how many extra gorillas are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 12 minus 8 is 4. Nicely done. Question B. How many more people chose tiger and gorilla? as their favorite mammals than panda and snow leopard. Hmm, that's kind of tricky wording. So let's dig in a little bit deeper. We need to combine the number of tiger and gorilla and compare it to the number of people who chose panda and snow leopard. So two separate addition equations. So let's start by breaking it down. Tigers and gorillas. Let's take a peek over here. Tiger has eight. Gorilla has 12. We will need to add 8 plus 12, and I did that quickly for you. It is 20. I'll give you a chance to do the next one. Panda plus snow leopard. I see 11 in for panda and 7 for snow leopard. Go ahead, take your time. 11 plus 7 and figure out what that equals. If you're on it, it is... 18. All right, now we're not done yet. They're asking us how many more people chose tigers and gorillas than chose panda and snow leopard. We can see that this number is higher, so more people chose it. How many more people? Well, we put 20 minus 18. You should know that one in a snap. The answer is 2. Now, if you're in my class or any second grade class, you know how big we are on labels. So make sure that it's not just two, it's two more people chose tiger and gorilla. All right, I'm sure you miss us making you label things and going crazy over that stuff. Last question. Can't believe we're here already. How many fewer people chose tiger as their favorite mammal than panda? Hmm, let's break this one down. Fewer, we know, means what? More or less. I want you to think, is fewer more or less? If you said less, you're on it. So how many less people chose tiger than chose panda? Now, as I mentioned before, there's two ways to go about this. You can see the difference, right? You can actually see it in a picture graph. That's why they're so useful. You can see that up to this line is eight. So any extra purple dots above that line must mean the extra people who chose the other thing. So the people that chose panda, there are three extra circles. You might also just know as a quick fast fact, 11 minus 8 equals 3. Again, adding that label, three fewer people chose tiger than panda. All right, you're gonna move on and do one more on your own. This is where I'll leave you. Use the video to help you email us if you need. 
Uh, and I hope that this was helpful today. Talk to you guys soon.